Swissborg is the official partner of my channel where you can buy, sell, hold, and more importantly, stake your cryptocurrencies. You can even earn yield on your stable coins. Sign up with my link and you'll earn up to $100 worth of their native token CHSB just for depositing 50 euros worth of crypto. Swissborg. Hello everybody, welcome back. So let's run through this very briefly. So we got ourselves a, uh, a bit of a buyback going on here on the Dixie. Don't be too concerned. It might look aggressive, but it really is not. Um, we'll be targeting areas around this now on the four hourly, which is about 11, uh, 111.4. So around those levels, it's basically a 200 uh, exponential and a, uh, and, a, and a 50 exponential, which is forming a death cross right now. And uh, it's very, very common to see a death cross get retested and then back down from there so that, that's basically what i'm looking for here again the analysis that i said from last week which is dollar down everything else up still applies still applies if you watch this channel on a daily basis so far i've been ahead of the game by, by at least a few days which is to, to be fair the best way to do it so i said dollar top down now a couple of days ago i said look we're looking for a, uh, a consolidation on everything while the dollar has a little bounce that's been going on for two days now that's fine so i set it on this candle here yesterday up today continuing up up to this level which uh, again is, is matched by uh, lots of moving averages also on the daily as well so yeah 1140 thereabouts uh, if we look at um, other currency markets just before bitcoin very briefly parity was the resistance fair play to it we also had the uh, ecb talk about the, well do the uh, 75 basis point rate hike no big deal uh, so we're getting our reaction from here back down maybe to 98 that would be great and then we can just continue to play this ascending triangle ready for the breakout of parity you know and I'm not suggesting that the euro is super strong or anything like that. It's just that the uh, that the dollar is weakening at the moment. It's peaking, and so um, it, it the euro should be stronger than the dollar in this period. Same thing going on with the pound actually broken out from its ascending. Um, it's ascending triangle looking to probably gain a, uh, a support around this level about 114 114.3 uh, 114.4 and then back up again from there so again the pound looks reasonable uh, and again i'm not saying that the pound is the pillar of strength but uh, it's just you know with the with the dollar coming down this is all i'm saying with the dollar weakening at the moment and everything else sort of uh, just proving that it's a little stronger japanese yen as well so we had a nice bit of a, a buyback on the dollar yesterday again it's just absolutely nothing to be concerned about the overall analysis still applies everything i said from last week still applies i got the absolute top remember and i gave it a period of between two to six weeks to play out um, a couple of days ago i talked about this consolidation on everything else and a, and a bit of a bounce from the dollar that's all happening right now this is all perfectly fine and we're approaching areas of uh, resistance on the yen so i'll be looking for this to get a rejection around more or less more or less where we are at right now and then continue down again so there's your forex market really which is boring stuff i know uh, but it's all like i say nothing has changed nothing has changed since last week since we got the top nothing has changed since these last couple of days when we called for the consolidation consolidation i was calling a couple of days ago here and we started to see that um uh, take effect yesterday and we're still seeing a little bit more of that today this is all perfectly fine there's nothing to, nothing to worry about we're above the box of significance which is backed up at the bottom by the center of the bollinger band the two uh, the uh, the 20 daily moving average about 19,465 uh, and the top of the box being 19,700 as we all know the 10 exponential is just above that we've got 21 in the middle of it this area is the uh, area of support to watch and i suppose spreading entries within this zone is fine but if we do start to close below here especially on the daily then it'd be invalidated because what you know we talked about the breakout we got the breakout we said what we want to see now as a trend which is higher highs and higher lows so we're forming some lows now each one of these would be a higher low uh, if we start to bounce from these but i want to see us actually come down to an area a bit more significant so i, I am hoping to see it you know go back down into the nineteen thousand dollar area you know the perfect entry for the perfect setup would be all the way down to the bollinger band bottom that's probably not going to happen today if that were to happen it would probably happen over a couple of days if we're super bullish on this and again if this reacts like the Dil like the dixie and, and forex markets which are more or less looking to move right now then uh, we're probably going to get picked up earlier might even be getting picked up right now 
Um, but yeah, anywhere above this box of significance is good for a high low. Anywhere below that, it's not a high low. It would be a failed breakout, and we'd be looking to move back down to the bottom side of the range. Uh, again, uh, a golden cross was formed on the four hourly. You'd look for a, a, a bullish retest of that. The 50 exponential hangs around here at 19,900. That's more or less the 10 exponential, isn't it, on the daily? And uh, the uh, 200 exponential is 19,662. So, like I say, spreading any kind of dip within any of these areas is, is, is fine. I, I don't see a problem, but if we start to close below it, then uh, then it would be a problem. It's also backed up by a four hourly Bollinger Band and a 200 simple moving average. So a lot of it is looking pretty good. And like I say, it's, it's working exactly as I expected. Exactly as predicted. So, uh, yeah, it will just leave it to do its thing. It's uh, Everything seems to be working uh, the way I expected it to work. So, with that in mind, the analysis from last week where I called the, toller, uh, the, the, the top on the dollar, uh, where I called that, uh, it's still absolutely 100% still in play. And remember when I said that this is going to happen here and we shorted, or I, I shorted this exact area, you know, as well as taking positions in all kinds of other things because I was so adamant about it. I said, look, two to six weeks worth of price action. We might be seeing a bit of a consolidation now, but uh, that's also what I said a couple of days ago. So we're going to consolidate from these levels. We're consolidating from those levels. It's all exactly the same as I've been saying for over a week now. Um, perfectly. The only thing we can't gauge exactly is, you know, where we're going to go up to. Uh, we can only see when the momentum starts to fall off and where we're going to go down to because there's a there's, we're spoiled for choice when it comes to supports. But either way, it's working out very nicely. I like the way it looks and uh, we should expect further upside across all boards. Right, with that, with that said, I'm just going to leave it with you there. If you want to join the Patreon live stream, we're doing one tonight, two hours worth of, I don't know, whatever it is that you want me to look at. Um, and it's £7.50 a month, two live streams a week. That's good value. It's cheaper than Netflix. And, well, I think it's better. Right. <laughs> Take it easy. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.